Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M I C C, not M I S S. You already know the channel is Natural Policy TV. And y'all, I'm sorry, I've been on this little break. This week that just passed was finals week, so I was in tutoring every morning, just like I've been in tutoring throughout the whole season. <laughs> throughout the whole semester but I was really like in all of my tutorings and studies to make sure that I passed my final so when finals was over I crashed I didn't do anything Friday other than maybe share some posts here here and there on Facebook but I slept I let my brain reload and on Thursday I saw my twin great nephews they were just born on December 11th you know mm-hmm if y'all saw my Instagram or my Facebook, you saw the picture of me holding the two babies. So, yeah, I've been asleep, been catching up, okay? So, I'm sorry that they're late, and I will do better at that because I'm not in school. Yes, I'm done with school at least for a while, <laughs> you already know. So, thank you, Jesus, for getting me through it, and I can't wait to 27th, 27th. 2017 to start my new journey so you already know it'll be in the works i might put it on youtube i might not but if you pay attention you probably might be able to tell from the videos that might come in the future so i want to get that little church announcement out the way to explain my absence so let's get into this loving hip-hop um new york review i'm gonna try to mesh episode four and five um get it popping in what's the other one let me get that right oh past and present we're gonna try to mesh it up together so yeah let's get into it all right, so first one, Love and Hip Hop Season 7, Episode 4, Get It Poppin', I think that's the name, whatever. We see Yandy pretending that she reading, girl, we already know. Um, what's that one? Miss Judy come in, uh, basically let her know the whole thing with Kim. Kim is okay or whatever, and they go back and forth for something. What killed me the most is when Kim asked, not Kim, but um, Judy asked, said, I don't know, but I'm praying for the bitch. I said... <laughs> At least you said you go prayer, but really, girl, I understand, though. You know, you might not like person, but you still try to get your blessings. So, you know, I might not like you, bitch, but I'm going to do the godly thing. I'm going to pray for the bitch. But, you know, so um, they talk about the whole thing, and then um, Yandy talk fake like she in shock or whatever. And this whole episode, both of them killed me, especially with everything that came out in the blogs about Yandy and man, DC not really being married, and you really just sporting that damn whatever that damn cubic zirconium you want to call it i'm just saying girl but whatever and that's when um judy lets her know that they're uh that asim and um little man dc is having his graduation party so of course she invited yandy and yandy was like i come for the kids but i ain't i'm gonna pray well not pray but she said she's gonna be there and hope for the best whatever girl um Bro Dollars, whatever, um, he talking about, you know, he done with the Creep Squad. Um, he meets with Ashley and Miracle, you know what I'm saying? Miracle giving him a second chance to be a dad. We all remember what happened the last time. And that's when he mentioned something about a girlfriend. He been with this girl named Jade. He whispers to Miracle that, you know, she's 24. We all know Ashley heard or whatever. And you know that they've been together for six months. And, you know, Ashley, she like, look, I just want all this time with you. You know what I'm saying? I just want to have his daddy time. And I understand Miracle giving the rules and stuff, but girl, you already know she ain't finna go with them rules. You talking about um at your house, she comes in at 10. This is the summer, 10.05. Girl, bye! Bye! Like, you really think, but whatever. Good luck to, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Broke dollars with that. You know, he said he ain't he done with the creep squad. We shall see. You gotta never know him. Uh, Cardi B, this was some dumbass shit on Dirty Swift for Wet Jet Mop ass. And I that's uh Swift, her manager. That's what I call him. Dirty Swift for Wet Jet Mop. Okay? Because that ass, his not that, but his ass is just too damn dumb. Cardi in the studio going up her songs. Um, I guess, you know, whatever on um you know, Swiffer Wet Jet, Dirty Swiffer Wet Jet Mop. No, I'm going to actually change it to Dirty Swiffer, Swiffer Jet. No, Swiffer Wet Mop. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, call him. Dirty Swiffer Wet Mop. That's what I'm calling His ass, um, she's using his phone or whatever. And then all of a sudden, the text message not notification come in. And it's his girl, Asia, going off on Cardi B. And Cardi B like, what the fuck? Now, I'm 50-50. And I'm going to tell y'all why I'm 50-50 in a second. So, of course, his ass walks in. And she's like, yo, man, who is Asia? Who is this? She going off on me. And, of course, it was going to come out. So, he admits that, you know, that's my girl. Cardi going off talking about, this bitch don't even know me. She think I'm fucking you. What you talking about? Like, this looks bad on my nigga Tommy. And I'm like, girl... Okay, but anyways, so, you know, she goes off and says, you know, when I see her, I'm beat her ass. And I completely understand because you going off on Cardi or whatever, you know, Miss Asia, when you really need to be checking your man. So I'm sorry. Check your spouse. He's obligated to you, not Cardi, especially if you don't know all the facts. 
you just going by pictures, okay? I'm just saying, be grown up about the shit, but whatever. And I kind and I'm not kind of, but I felt where Cardi was coming from about bitch, you don't know me, but you talk shit about me. But okay. And his old, you know, his old dirty swiffle wet ass sitting over there just like, mm, you know, you <clears throat> okay. Dirty swift for wet mop. You already fucking know, nigga. Anyways, after that, we see DJ No Self Esteem still talking about this whole winning shit. What the hell? I, I guess. Anyways, he's um trying to get it up and running. So he meets with, you know, Mariah Snow, no flake. And um, she's all like, you know, she wants, you know, she's a free agent. She wants to get it popping or whatever as far as being an agent. And she's kind of skeptical with, you know, DJ No Self Esteem after that whole shit happened with Sky. So he's talking to her or whatever about the contract. And she like, you know what, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to let my lawyers go over it or whatever. And DJ No Self Esteem is like, girl, time is money while you're talking. But you know what, I'm going to try to sweeten the deal, okay? I'm going to take you a little shopping. Oh, who money? We all know that's the Mona checks, but okay. Anyways, so I guess that's what she, um, she gonna do. But she talking about um, she wanna be the first lady of uh, Gwen uh, Entertainment. Okay, girl, I don't know what accomplishment is that, but okay. Anyways, um, Snoop gonna go talk to Sophie Green about the whole situation. Let her know that you know the whole strawberry thing. Jay pissed off and all of this shit, and you know he does not. Ooh, excuse me. She doesn't want you know that to fuck up her relationship, so she came to let Sophie Green go. And this is when Sophie is gonna talk about you know I want to do acting, I want to do this, I want to do that. And I understand you know don't put all your you know eggs in the basket, but girl you still acting a little too thirsty for me. I'm sorry. And that damn Snapchat shit was way out of line because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want your spouse doing some shit like that too, business or not. I'm just saying, but whatever. And that's when, you know, Snoop lets her know that, you know, I'm going to um, put you down with jewels, but I'm going to work with you as far as with your acting. And I'm like, so what was the whole thing of not putting, you know, Jay from Chicago on first instead of someone that she has an issue with? I'm just saying, I don't think, I don't think really like Snoop thought, you know, thought this out properly but whatever anyways this at the graduation little party event whatever and the kids are there kim walking around what the fuck you got on kim what type of shoes okay I, i'm not even gonna go there but whatever she with the kids she talking about you know the heart attack opened up you know her eyes and she needs to you know chill with the stress so they all chilling whatever soon as yandy come in which i don't think what she had on was very appropriate for a kid's graduation party but whatever girl and then kim already knew was like you know what let me go and take the kids and go yandy felt like it was a setup and kind of like girl think about it girl you already knew you and mom's a good judy I'm just saying, y'all some good Judy's, I already know. Anyways, they talking about situation is, and Samantha whole thing is, she wanna, I'm sorry. Because how Yandy been going around, you know, putting out the rumors about how she is with her son or whatever. She just wants, and I'm sorry. And I, I can't even be mad at her. Like, if you been doing all this extra shit, Yandy, which I really don't be trusting you because how you be coming off, girl, and came off in the other seasons, then you can at least own up to the fact that you said what you said and give the girl apology, like woman to woman. You wouldn't want nobody starting no type of rumors about your motherhood regardless that they were true or false now erica i'm a little iffy about you girl i understand you want you know man dc to acknowledge you or whatever but girl i'm glad you came with the receipts because you did put yandy on hush mouth and all she could talk about you know because she's the white bitch don't nobody give a fuck that you are a wife to a motherfucking jailbird bitch and then again come to find out that shit ain't even true don't nobody give a fuck I'm just saying, but what, okay, whatever. But, you know, Yandy was, you know, doing the little thing with the ring. Erica talking about it. Look like a little cluster cloud. Really? Uh, okay, but I'm just saying. And then my thing is, too, Miss Yandy, girl, why are you not really married to this man after you done had motor spend all this money and people came out? Girl, bye. I'm just was like, the whole time, I'm married, I'm married. Bitch, please. We already know this was filmed in the past. Thank God it was because if she was doing this shit now, it would have been worse. But them little receipts that I guess Erica was coming with, I don't think it really, it kind of put on hush mouth, but it didn't really work, Erica. It still kind of make you look bad, girl. Just get over it. To me, I feel where Samantha's coming from. Like, bitch, no. And I do believe that, Yandy, you owe her an apology on that, okay? At the end of the day, she has full custody. She can do what she want to do. As long as the kid ain't coming back, coming back battered, bruised, or whatever, she can do whatever she want to do. And now that we know legally you ain't his mama, girl, she can do whatever the fuck she want. I'm sorry, not his wife. Not his mama, but his wife. You know what I mean when I say Mandisi's. You're not legally um Mandisi's uh, wife or whatever from what we read from the black, black blogs. Girl, she can do whatever the hell she want to do. Whatever. Just own up to it. But that's how pretty much that goes or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, um, Asia and, you know, uh, Dirty Swift for Wet Jet or whatever, they all talking. 
and um call him wet jet wet mop y'all know he is they all going out to eat or whatever and asia girl you pretty but that face it just looked like it's you know i'm but you're cute girl you're cute but anyways she um they going out on a date or whatever and you know she's in town and they all talking of course about her little insecurities whatever how she feel about cardi b or whatever and um we all know he lying talking about i ain't do nothing lying his ass off granted I don't give a damn. He might not have, you know, went all the way, but a kiss is still cheating too and entertaining it and feeding into that shit is still cheating too. I'm sorry. So, no, you lying to her. Own it up. Anyways, he said he going to um, give all the information to his hotel room and all that stuff. And I guess that's what made her happy because she was all good. I guess, girl. It would have took a little bit more than that. So, the green is at this little audition thing. And, you know, she doing her little thing or whatever. And then all of a sudden, Jay take a damn Uber, girl. That was nothing but an Uber already to uh go to um sophie green's perform i mean audition and shit and you out of line for that one i'm sorry like baby girl no ma'am you need to trust your boo at the end of the day i understand you mad but you coming at her like that was just way out of line then you come into her opportunity you wouldn't like it if somebody did it for you but then again that's why you mad that's why you really mad because snoop did it for her and not for you but your opportunist ass okay they go back and forth, whatever. So for time I'm not gay, that's when Jay talking about I'm not gay either, but I'm with Snoop. We all know how them, some of them stories goes. You know, we already know. But girl, bye. You were still wrong. And then you didn't really want to fight that girl. You pushing the table. You had plenty ample opportunity to reach out and touch a bitch. But you ain't want that. And Sophie Green, you had too. Because once you felt that girl coming towards you, you should have just said, let me help you. I'm just saying, and just pull it close. Let me help you. I'm just saying, if you, I really want to do that. But y'all ain't really want to fight. It was just acting for the cameras, and you doing all this in front of her audition. Like, that would have really pissed me off right there. You doing all this in front of my audition, regardless if it was over or not. I'm still here. That would have made me say, you know, let me, can I help you? Soon as she would have pushed them tables to me. But okay. Or at least I would have big faced the bitch back up, you know, the way, um, Old girl did a little fizz off of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Okay, how she big face his ass. I would have did her like that, coming to my shit. But okay, she walked off or whatever, I guess. After that, um, oh, I forgot to mention, Jay, who the hell are you? Talking about I will stop this and I will stop that, your career. Girl, you ain't no damn body. Stop it, girl. Worry about your child. Anyways, after that, Broke Dollars invites um, Jade over for dinner with Ashley. Ashley is not feeling it. Ashley, to me, baby, you was a little bit too grown. I don't give a damn. If she's 24 or whatever, she's still doing what she got to do more than what your ass is doing at 16. So stop it right there. Like, I don't care. Broke dollars, you should have just checked your daughter on that one because that was very wrong. But we see it didn't go nowhere. You know, they've been together for six months, and Ashley just is not convinced about it. She's like, okay, whatever. We shall see. My daddy done did this before. And then checks her about her clothing. Although, girl... You could have wore something a little better. I'm just saying you knew he was meeting you knew you was meeting his daughter. But okay. Anyways. Um Jay and Snoop meet up. They go back and forth with their little tidbit, talking about I trust you, I love you, and all this shit. Jay talk about I don't trust you, you a lie, and all of that bullshit. And I'm like, okay, I guess. And you know, that's when Jay talking about, um, you know, you ain't do this for me. She start crying, girl, by opportunist out of up. Like I said, she mad because Sophie got the audition and not her. I'm just saying. Then again, Snoop, if you knew your girl, you would have did that better. I'm just saying. You would have gave her the audition first or any type of audition before you gave that girl one. And then my thing is, too, Jay, why the fuck you got so much time to be on uh, Sophie Green stalking her shit? Bitch, you need to be worrying about getting your auditions while you worry about the next one. I'm just saying. But whatever. She claims she's going to put on probation and Snoop get pissed off or whatever. Talking about we don't have trust. We don't have nothing. I guess. Just... Uh, whatever. Cardi B's performing, cute performance. Asia surprised her man at the hotel room, and as soon as Cardi B seen her, she was a woman of her word. She snatched her ass up. I said, damn, Asia, you should have been better. Them shoes should have been on. You should have been like, mm. So we already know Dirty Swift for wet jet mop. Mm-hmm. Yes, I said jet and mop all together. His ass gonna try to break up shit. Fake as fuck how you trying to break that shit up or whatever. And then that's when we already know. That's when Cardi started screaming, like, bitch, you talking about me? I ain't fucking, but now I am going to fuck him. I'm going to take your man. And one thing I got to give it to Asia, though. She was real about this. She said, bitch, you can have him. You can fuck him. You can have him. I was like, I know that's right. Thank you. About sometimes somebody come after the damn nigga, even though you got your ass snatched up. You know what I'm saying? Asia, you should have been ready. But then again, like, swift for wet jet. Dirty Swift Wet Jet Mop. What the fuck? You didn't think, like, you told her you gave all the information. You think she all the way in London. Like, come on, like. 
But again, acting at its worst. We all know Mona. But Cardi girl, I felt you when you came after that girl because you was a woman of your word. But you should have slapped his ass too. I'm just saying. But anyways, Cardi said keep her name out of her mouth. Asia said, you know what? Fuck it. You can have them. Cardi takes off her wig ready to fight again. That's when Cardi leaves or whatever. And then she's crying all, you know, in front of, you know, Dirty Swift away, Jet Mop and all that stuff. He all quiet and shit. She's like, you know what? You can have her. You can have her. I said, I know that's right. I can't even look at you. I don't want you. And walks clean, smooth off. I know that's right, girl. Do what you got to do. I'm not going to make this no 30-minute video. It's already at 15 minutes and counting. So I will be back with episode 5 past or present okay y'all will be back hope y'all enjoyed this one it was okay i mean like i said i felt where old girl was coming from like dirty swift wet jet mop you you did all this to yourself uh jay baby tone it down but snoop baby you need to be a little bit wiser uh broke dollars whatever mariah no snowflake i guess and dj no self-esteem this gwenny shit bye okay bye selfie green you just need to, your approach is just different because that, that shit was not cool with what you did with the strawberry. I felt like you take a little bit extra, but hey, it is what it is. And if I miss anything, y'all, put it down in the comments. We'll be back at it again for the next one, okay? Be back, y'all. I am Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, -Z, not M-I-S-S. -S. You already know the channel's not your post TV, and y'all have a blessed one. Deuces. Be back for episode five right after this.